special imaging and five directions of sensing made the Phantom 4 Pro the perfect storytelling tool for creative professionals. But our biggest breakthrough came almost 18 months ago, when here in New York, we unveiled the now iconic design of the, Fant of the Mavic Pro by making it easier than ever to take a 4K drone with you wherever you go, we set a new standard for drone technology and introduced what is now the most popular drone of all time. Since launching the Mavic Pro, we've seen its foldable design enable filmmakers, content creators, amateur photographers, many of whom are here in the audience with us now, to fly and creating new stories from new perspectives. What may surprise you, though, is that the day after we started shipping the Mavic Pro, we went back to the drawing board to create something entirely new. Rather than just upgrade the Mavic Pro, we wanted to create a brand new class of drone, one that empowers everyone to create without limits. To create such a drone, we had to leverage and improve on all of DJI's key breakthrough technologies. That includes a drone that's so powerful, it has a three-axis sta three stabilized 4K camera on board with a first-rate imaging system. So intelligent, you can fly with confidence and ease in complex environments. And so portable, it can go on whatever adventure you embark on. Powerful, intelligent, and portable Today, we're going to redefine drones as a creative tool. To make a drone so in powerful, intelligent, and portable, we had to reimagine the way drones are designed. We first miniaturized all the technology inside <coughs> and polished and refined every curve to make the body as aerodynamic as possible. With so much power and such a small body, we had to design a new ventilation system to pull air through the drone to prevent overheating. We also created a new three-axis gimbal casing that not only protects the gimbal while it's in flight, but also provides more precision in camera movements. We also increased signal coverage with a new designed omnidirectional antenna discreetly placed in the landing gear. And of course, we made the entire system foldable. The result is a design that is both functional and elegant. A drone designed to let you create without limits, straight from your pocket. So carrying it in your pocket is easier than ever. In fact, you can carry everything with you, including your wallet, your smartphone, but of course, the most important thing is making sure you have a good remote controller that has been redesigned to be as portable as possible. But ultimately, this is all about the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air. The Mavic Air is our most powerful and intelligent portable drone to date. As you can see, its new design makes it incredibly easy to get up in the air quickly and easily. Now the portability is one of the key things about this drone. It's so portable, it fits in your pocket with all the things that you carry with you to create. That's your phone, your wallet, your remote controller, your smartphone. In fact, I like to carry just an additional one, just in case my friend wants to fly. And you know, just for fun, in case we encounter more people who want to fly, we have an additional unit right here in my pocket. The system couldn't be simpler to, port, uh, to carry with you, and it really empowers creativity for outdoor photographers, travelers, and adventurers who want to capture new perspectives on the go. As you can see, the entire system is about as tall and wide as a smartphone. 
And in fact, the entire system is half the size of a Mavic Pro and weighs 41% less than a Mavic Pro. As the smallest footprint of any drone that we've created so far. I can also put it in a case that is about the size as the case that I carry my glasses in, about the size of a pair of headphones or any of these other objects that we carry with us on a daily basis. But besides making it portable, we also thought about power. The power of the stories that you can tell on the go, the power of the technology that enables those stories. This includes a three-axis stabilized 4K camera, a first for a drone of this size. It includes seven onboard cameras for sense and avoid, part of our updated Flight Autonomy 2.0 system, making the Mavic Air our most intelligent Mavic yet. This system enables three directions of environmental sensing, powered by dual forward, downward, and rear cameras to sense the environment in three directions in real time. Beyond all these improvements, though, we've also enabled the Mavic Air with a flight time of up to 21 minutes, the longest flight time for a drone of this size. And lastly, the Mavic Air has a range of up to 2.5 miles over an enhanced dual band Wi-Fi signal thanks to its new antenna design and software improvements. With the Mavic Air, we wanted to enable everyone to tell uh, unlimited stories straight from your pocket. And that all starts with the imaging system. The camera on the Mavic Air is powered by a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor with a 24 millimeter f2.8 lens. Larger pixels make the Mavic Air more acutely sensitive to light and able to record colors precisely. It can shoot 12 megapixel stills and, of course, record three-axis stabilized 4K videos up to 30 frames per second. Let's look at this clip shot on the Mavic Air. You'll see beautiful, crisp images recorded in 4K at H.264, now enabled with 100 megabits per second. So you get clear, detailed images are much improved over the regular 60 megabits per second on a 4K camera of this size. But beyond 4K, the Mavic Air can shoot full HD videos at up to 120 frames per second, creating beautiful, smooth, slow motion action shots like this one. The Mavic Air is not just great for video, though. It takes incredible stills, including this panorama which is actually a 32 megapixel spherical panorama. Capturing this amazing perspective in such high resolution used to be only possible if you had specialized software, some skill, and a lot of time on your hands. With the Mavic Air, we've introduced advancements in computational photography that let the Mavic Air shoot and stitch 25 high resolution images autonomously, which is the tap of a button. The whole process of capturing and image processing is done on board the drone itself within one minute. And the image is saved automatically to your camera roll. The entire experience from capturing every perspective of incredible landscapes is faster, easier, and higher quality than ever before. Just a tap of a button. For capturing more detail in shadows or in the sky, the Mavic Air now has a high dynamic range or HDR capture mode. This is a particularly useful feature when shooting in situations like this one, where typically trying to capture the shadows in the landscape means losing detail in the clouds. Shooting HDR with the Mavic Air sets the right exposure settings automatically. Overexposed or dark areas are smoothed out to create natural transitions and preserve detail in the most overexposed and dark areas of the image. This stabilization <coughs> and precision in these shots wouldn't be possible without our newly designed three-axis gimbal, which is more precise and durable than ever before. Using a new layout to provide multiple dimensions of vibration reduction, 
the gimbal further reduces shake for incredibly smooth shots. The recessed gimbal casing protects the camera while it's in the air and while in transport. The Mavic Air is the smallest drone of its size to feature a three-axis gimbal and shoots incredible images. Now, you no longer have to worry about missing those incredible images if you forgot your microphone <coughs> card at home. I think we've all experienced this, digging through your bag trying to find the micro SD card in time. Well, the Mavic Air now has eight gigabytes of internal storage for those times when you can't find your micro SD card or you've run out of space. Photos <coughs> and videos are stored directly on board the drone itself with fat, easy and fast export using a USB Type-C port. We've enabled the Mavic Air with a fantastic camera. But in order to really enable storytelling without limits, straight from your pocket, we've introduced a number of new features that make capturing amazing stories with the Mavic Air easier and more intuitive than ever. The Mavic Air features all of DJI's intelligent flight modes, including our popular active track and quick shot modes, which makes flying and filming like a pro easy and effortless. With the Mavic Air, we've introduced some key updates to both. Let's start with ActiveTrack, which is our most popular intelligent feature. This lets you track an object automatically while keeping it locked in the center of the frame. The Mavic Air is able to detect multiple subjects simultaneously and lets you choose the subject to follow just by tapping on the button. And you don't have to draw a box over the subject that you want to fly, film and fly around anymore. ActiveTrack also has higher precision in tracking. Its algorithms have been improved to prevent subject loss and also to accommodate for situations where somebody's speed has changed or their movements have become irregular, like when you're running along a mountaintop. In addition to ActiveTrack, we've seen the rapid adoption of our QuickShot modes last year. With the tap of a button, a quick shot automatically flies a complicated path and creates a short 10-second video that you can share instantly. Last week, I went on a bike ride along the California coast and saw this incredible sunset that I had to capture. Typically, getting up in the air and filming this shot would require carrying a digital bag, taking multiple takes of the drone, uh, making sure that I got exactly the right shot. There's no way I would have captured this without the Mavic Air, because I was able to get up in the air and capture those last five minutes before the sun set. All I had to do was pull the Mavic Air out of my jersey and use our two new quick shot modes. The first shot that I got is called Asteroid. Asteroid stitches together a spherical panorama together with a short clip, creating a really amazing, unique perspective that is so much fun to film. <laughs> we had so much fun capturing examples of these. We can't wait to see what you create with them. The second shot I used is called Boomerang. Boomerang captures a flight path exactly like the way a boomerang flies, flying up and away before coming back. The result is an amazing reveal that shows uh, an incredible perspective that typically would take an average pilot multiple attempts to perfect. Again, with one tap of a button, I was able to get this amazing shot. From stopping my ride, to getting up in the air, to filming two amazing complicated shots, and having re ready to share clips, all took five minutes. Creating with the Mavic Air is easier than ever, thanks to our intelligent flight modes. But we're also making flight more intuitive with our updated gesture control system that we call Smart Capture. Smart Capture is our most responsive and intuitive way to capture images on the go. Let me show you. So many of you are familiar with our gesture modes that we've introduced on previous drones, including the Mavic Pro, and of course, most recently with the Spark. We've added a few new features and a few new gestures to the system to make it even more powerful and an even more creative tool. 
let me show you how it works. We take off from the ground just by pointing our palm straight at the drone. It automatically gains altitude, and I'm able to start controlling it with my palm. Now you've seen this before, being able to angle the shot with my palm, but you've not seen how responsive this system is. It's so much fun to fly. All right, you've also seen that it can follow me by going either backwards or forwards, and it's more powerful with the rear dual cameras that give it awareness of the environment behind it. But now I can more precisely control the range of the Mavic Air simply by moving my hands backwards, oh, a little bit further, yep, just like that. And now, even at this distance, I can control the Mavic Air to get precisely the shot that I want, up to a range of 19 feet. So from here, I'm going to take a picture with this updated mode. All right, and just like that, I'm able to take a picture. I'm going to return home by bringing my hands together and land it just by pointing it down. Smart capture is fun, it's intuitive, and it's a thrilling way to create amazing, unique photos and images. When I want to fly beyond the 19 feet in the smart capture mode, I simply use my smartphone for a control distance of up to 262 feet. Or I can use the included remote for a range of up to 2.5 miles. And speaking of the remote, we've redesigned it to make it more portable than ever thanks to the new detachable control sticks that fit within the side of the body. It fits perfectly within the pocket and makes the, the Mavic Air system more portable than ever. Earlier, I mentioned that the Mavic Air features an updated flight autonomy system. All of this new complex technology serves one goal. It makes the Mavic Air the most intelligent and reliable consumer drone that we've ever developed. The system is called Flight Autonomy 2.0 and is more intelligent and powerful than ever. How does it work? Well, it collects uh, information from a complex and upgraded sensory system, conducts real-time positioning by building a 3D <coughs> map of its environment around the aircraft. The entire system has increased position positioning, even in environments like this without GPS, using new VIO GPS, technology and algorithms. It has significantly improved flight safety with even more sensor redundancy. It has greater environmental sensing in three directions, thanks to the seven cameras on board facing forward, downward, and backward. And it also has more precise and safe return to home and landing features, thanks to brand new Vision, a brand new vision compass and terrain detection system. Flight Autonomy 2.0 is incredible, but it's not even the most remarkable and intelligent function of the Mavic Air. Today, we're introducing our Advanced Pilot Awareness Systems, or APAS for short. The result, this is the result of several years of research on flight path calculation. Previously, when flying manually, obstacle avoidance worked by simply stopping your drone if it senses an obstacle. With APAS enabled, the Mavic Air will actually plan a flight path to bypass obstacles by either going around them or over them. Let me show you how it works over here in the right-hand corner. So here in the, the right-hand corner, we've got a typical environment set up with a wide variety of obstacles. Trees, rocks, and what Ed is going to do is start flying forward, a slight push forward towards that tree, and automatically 
the Mavic Air will plan a flight path around the first tree and the second tree. And as you can see, throughout the entire process, his control stick is just pushing forward. Now, as it's going towards the rocks and the other trees, it's just gaining elevation to make sure that it misses them. The entire system makes, makes uh, flying with confidence easier than ever, whether you're hiking in a forest or climbing a glacier. The Mavic Air is an absolute pleasure to fly, and this is down to its amazing performance and agility. The Mavic Air, despite being smaller than the Mavic Pro, is our fastest Mavic, reaching speeds of up to 42.5 miles per hour in sports mode. It's an absolutely thrilling experience to fly. The Mavic Air also performs more stably in unfavorable conditions. It can withstand wind speeds up to 22 miles per hour and take off and fly in elevations up to 16,000 feet above sea level. This means that you could take off from the top of Mount Whitney and still have room to gain elevation. This level of performance was once possible only in larger, more expensive drones. Now, with this capability, the Mavic Air is available to go with you on all your adventures. Now I'd like to invite to the stage one of the world's leading outdoor photographers who's recently put the uh, Mavic Air through its paces in the incredibly harsh environment of Patagonia. Please welcome to the stage Chris Burkhardt. Thanks so much for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Behind me, you are looking at some of my favorite images that I've created. Frozen beaches at the end of the world. You know, over the last decade, my career as an adventure photographer has really focused on sharing photographs of what I would consider some of the last wild places. It's taken me from the remote Kamchatka Peninsula all the way to the frozen islands of Lofoten in Norway, and to Iceland over 30 times, most recently, Patagonia. Photography for me has always been a way to look at a complicated world and hopefully share my view and, and to inspire others to get outside of their safe and routine and, and hopefully in some capacity explore what uncertainty means to them. Now somewhere along the journey I realized, like most people do, that, that photographs simply weren't enough to share that message. You know, I wanted to tell deep stories and I, I wanted to bring people as close to the experience as I possibly could. And I knew that I couldn't do that standing on a beach somewhere with a tripod and a camera. <clears throat> now somewhere along the way I kind of fell in love with aerial photography. Uh, it it kind of became an addiction, to be honest. Um, everywhere I went, everywhere I traveled, I would look for a pilot. I would hunt one down. It didn't matter if it was a, a plane or a helicopter or an experimental aircraft or even a paraglider. I just wanted to see the Earth from above. And one of the things that I realized through that process, like any time you kind of learn a new craft, you want to perfect it. I realized that I was missing something. At times, the plane was a little too fast or a little too high. And I realized that a part of the intimacy, a part of the control that I lost on the ground was, was sort of lacking. I realized it was time for me to fly, and so a couple years ago I bought my first drone, and, and to be honest, I was completely terrified of flying in the beginning. <laughs> um, but it opened up a whole new world to me, a way of seeing the world that I, I never really thought that I could. Um, in the beginning, going to some of these remote locations, they were a bit bulky, and um, but the quality quickly improved, and the size decreased to the point where Bringing along a Mavic was essentially the same decision as bringing along another lens. You know, it would fit literally right into your camera bag, next to your camera, or into a large jacket pocket. You know, all of a sudden, there was no compromise. And essentially, I feel like I finally found the piece of equipment that, for me at least, going to the places that I love to go, these inspiring locations, that fits my exact type of work. I'd like to give you a quick preview of the Mavic Air on location in Patagonia. I grew up in a small town, and um, the, the greatest adventures I'd go on were like, you know, ride my bike down the street, or what ended up happening was I, when I started to take these kind of long road trips further and further from home, 
I'm just realizing what's out there. In the beginning, it was always about traveling, filling the pages of my passport, and collecting a paycheck. It was, it was selfish. After a certain amount of time, I realized that that drive doesn't last. Like you can't continue to have endless sleepless nights and frozen fingers and a, and a never ending travel schedule for those things. And I realized that coming back home and sharing these experiences from the ends of the earth with my, my mom, my dad, my family, my community, that became the most meaningful thing. And as that audience grew, it was like, I could share a place that people might never see because it's really hard for people to care about places they can't experience. Oh, it's like you I just felt super lucky to be able to use a camera as a tool to help bring that vision to people. The end goal is that people actually come and they actually see it for themselves. And that was and still is what makes all this so incredibly worth it. Patagonia still blows my mind. <laughs> when testing the Mavic Air, you know, they, they asked me, where do you want to go? And I, I knew that for me, it was important to go somewhere new, somewhere that would instill that kind of childlike wonder when you first see a place, you know, from the very first time. And I figured Patagonia would be beautiful, of course, you know, you've seen it in tons of magazines and photographs, but I had no idea that it would be such an attack on the senses. I mean, visceral doesn't even begin to describe it. The wind howls, and the rivers rage with all the force of South America. And I was literally and figuratively at times blown away. Uh, but somehow this compact and rugged you know, drone managed to keep its cool, even in the harshest of conditions and freezing cold mornings. We set out to Patagonia actually to tell a bit bigger story than just adventure. We knew this landscape had a deep history with conservation and it's about to create the largest national park in the world. These efforts have been really made possible by the Tompkins Conservation over the last 20 years and we set out to use technology to help learn more about it and to tell that story. I'd always wondered what makes a place worth protecting. And I realized that if you spend enough time in these wild places, you feel a sense of responsibility to want to preserve them for future generations. One particular morning, after being up shooting all night, we were running on basically pure adrenaline. You know that feeling, right? Two hours of sleep. We met two young Chilean kayakers at the edge of the Rio Baca River, a river that until a couple years ago was actually at risk of being dammed, one of the largest rivers from source to sea. And because of the seam repressive movement, they were able to keep this river flowing. And we watched these guys send class five plus rapids in their kayaks, one of the most intense and gnarliest bodies of water you could ever ride. We made our way down to the edge of this canyon and we dropped the drone right over them, right over these raging rapids. And wind was just pushing back and forth through the canyon walls. You couldn't even really see it from above. And essentially the camera stayed stable and the drone flew smooth and I was able to fly backwards using the navigation as well as the obstacle avoidance to kind of work around these sudden curves in the canyon walls. It's situations like these as an adventure photographer, any photographer in general, when you're working with an athlete that's putting himself on the line when I really rely on my equipment, and they do too, because as they know, and as I know, many times there are no second chances. And there's so much to share from this incredible trip, but by far, I think my most humbling experience was the last day. We woke up at 4 a.m. to begin a three-hour bushwhack hike up to um, a, a new climbing area known as Cerro Colorado, right? And if this was in America, it would be just littered with people, but it sat in perfect solitude right on the Argentina and Chilean border. Uh, we hiked with cameras, drones, food, water, and climbing gear. Our backs ached and were drenched with sweat. But we knew it would all be worth it. A small team of us hiked up to the top and lowered down. And I stood on a small block, about a thousand feet off the ground, attached to the wall with nothing but a small harness and a piece of webbing. And as I photographed these climbers work their way up the intricate crack systems, I realized, like, oh, it was so gorgeous. You know, it looked great. But it wasn't quite the perspective I was hoping for. You know, with the DSLR and a wide-angle lens, it just wasn't doing this place justice. And so I had the drone attached to my harness, and I figured if there was ever a time to fly, this was it. It was now. And uh, I basically hand-launched this drone off the wall, fingers crossed, hoping that the wind wouldn't catch it or push it back towards me. 
And um, it, I watched it fly steady and motionless right in front of me. And this was the perspective that I was hoping for, you know, something that would truly bring the grandeur of this location to life, giving the full scale of the wall as it fell away thousands of feet below us. You know, these are some of my favorite photographs from the trip, not because of the most beautiful, but because of the effort that went into creating them. And because I knew I had to pare down my gear to just the essentials, and by far the most important thing that I brought with me on this experience was my Mavic Air. Um, and I could have never really gotten to that elevation unless I went all the way to the top. Now, I've realized if there's one thing, you know, about traveling, it's that the more you're there to experience, it's, it's all about what you make of it, right? I've always hoped to have a deep connection with the landscapes that I immerse myself in. And I've come to know that the right gear can play a huge role in that. The more you know, the less you need, it's been said. And I, I don't think any piece of advice could be more true when it comes to camera gear, as many of you know. Um, it took me, you know, traveling halfway across the world and being in some of these far-flung locations to realize that what I packed needed to be looked at critically and light. And essentially, I'm happy to say that the Mavic Air has earned its place as a tool that's going to inspire millions of people to get outdoors. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Wow, thank you again, Chris. Let's give him a hand. I don't know about you guys, but I'm incredibly inspired to go to Patagonia right now and can't wait to take my Mavic Air with me. With the Mavic Air, DJI is once again reinventing consumer drones as a creative tool. This is the most portable, intelligent, and powerful drone ever, designed to create without limits, straight from your pocket. With something so small, you have a powerful imaging system with a 4K, three-axis stabilized camera capable of amazing 32 megapixel panoramas. Best-in-class flight performance with speeds up to 42.5 miles per hour, up to two and a half miles of range, high wind resistance, and up to 21 minutes of flight time. And the Mavic Air has more intelligence than ever on a Mavic, enabling creative, intelligent shots with active track and quick shots. We also have enabled you to fly with more confidence than ever using seven onboard cameras for three directionals of sensing and the new APAS system to automatically plan flight paths. The entire system is absolutely incredible. The Mavic Air will come in three colors. That includes Arctic white with a beautiful matte finish, Onyx black which has an aggressive metal sheen, and of course flame red which is glossy like a sports car. Hopefully you fly it as fun and aggressively as a sports car as well. With the Mavic Air, we wanted to make our most advanced technology simple, but we also wanted to make it accessible. This, that's why I'm excited to say that the Mavic Air will be available starting from $799. The standard package includes a protective case, propeller guards for enhanced safety, and the newly designed remote controller, all available in one package. For pilots who want to get the most out of their Mavic Air, we're launching a Fly More combo, which includes an additional set of propellers, two extra batteries, a folding charging hub that charges four batteries, and a shoulder bag. All of this for 999 US dollars. You're gonna have so much access to the creativity of this system, we cannot wait to see what you do with it. And you can start getting your hands on with the product as soon as possible. Pre-orders start today through DJI.com, DJI flagship stores, and select retail partners. Shipping will start on January 28th and it will be available that day in select retail stores. So you'll be getting your Mavic Air in the air soon. In the, in the weeks after the Mavic Air hits the shelves, we'll be offering a wide range of accessories. This includes a car charger, so you can have a lot more flexibility while you're traveling, ND filters, and of course, the Mavic Air is compatible 
with the DJI goggles for an immersive FPV flight experience. We'll also be offering DJI Care Refresh so you can get additional protection for your drone. DJI Care Refresh offers a comprehensive warranty program for your product and provides up to two additional replacements for a small additional charge, giving you even more peace of mind every time you fly. Mavic Air will also leverage our GeoSystem, a technology DJI pioneered to help pilots learn about their flight environment. Using Geo, pilots have a real-time map where flight is limited due to regulations or safety concerns. In addition to airport location, pilots have access to a real-time map of where there's temporary flight restrictions, such as wildfire locations. Mavic Air is also compatible with DJI's software development kit, which enables the creative and commercial potential for drones. Partners that are developing using the SDK include Drone Deploy, which makes 3D mapping and modeling easier than ever, and Drone Blocks, that's helping train the next generation of engineers in coding using drones. Today, we have once again redefined what drones can do, pushing the standards of this category higher than ever before, ready to deliver images and performance in the harshest outdoor environments. The combination of power, intelligence, and portability allows you to be unlimited with your creativity straight from your pocket. That's it for today. We're going to close things out by showing you a video of how the Mavic Air was designed, followed by a short video introducing some of the key features and showing you more footage of the Mavic Pro in the Mavic Air in action. After the videos, please feel free to come up and get hands-on with the product. And we thank you all for joining us on this rainy morning in New York. And thank you all for tuning in. Have a good day. The new Mavic Air is a marvel of engineering and design. An ultra-portable device that stretches the boundaries of what's possible for a drone this size. To do this, we had to reimagine the most efficient design possible. Each and every aspect has been refined and optimized, from its radical, foldable design down to every line and polished curve. The result is a powerfully creative tool in a dramatically reduced form factor. The Mavic Air has a presence that oozes style and geometric elegance. Arms and propellers sit flush against its slender aerodynamic frame. It is the most portable drone to house a three-axis mechanical gimbal. Protected by the chassis, the newly designed gimbal system is suspended from a set of dampeners in a three-dimensional formation, which dramatically reduces vibration for steadier shots. For greater stability in flight, we've developed a new dual hinge design for the arms. The foldable landing gears are positioned on the tips of the arms. Hidden inside are omnidirectional antennas that are purposely placed away from the body to provide more extensive signal coverage for optimal transmission. The Mavic Air has seven onboard cameras that are reinforced by durable magnesium alloy brackets, offering a more robust framework for better performance. Processing data from this many sensors allows the Mavic Air to read the environment with a greater attention to detail, providing better obstacle avoidance and more accurate real-time positioning. For a drone this small and this powerful, heat dissipation needs to be handled efficiently. Air is drawn in from behind the gimbal and through the heat sink, with excess heat expelled from vents on the back. To achieve such an intricate and bold design, we had to be meticulous about our manufacturing process. Going to such extremes was the only way. To deliver a product that met our high quality standards in both form and function. As an unrivaled piece of engineering, the Mavic Air is a new milestone in flight performance, functionality and design. An ultra portable smart drone that is bound to turn people's imaginations into reality.
Well, there we go. So that's what DJI has announced is the new Mavic Air. Now, is it something you guys are going to um, buy, you know, or going to sort of purchase? Um, fantastic sort of new kit and um, a redesign, I suppose, as well. It's gone into that. Um, nice to see a 4K camera at last. 4K camera. Then they can make it smaller, much more improvements. But is it a massive change, though? Is it a really big change? More of the avoidance, better improve active tracking and things like that. Is it sort of the features you use? Interesting to know. Comment below, actually. If interested to know whether this is something you'll change over. Is this a game changer? Is this telling you out there, I've got a f you found in four owners or you found in three owners? Is this something you're going to say, yep, I'm going to change this. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to promise shipping quite quickly, too. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to know. I'm thinking about purchasing another drone for doing aerial photography with. I like the sound of this one because it is obviously got a quite, a, quite a different um, look more advanced settings and stuff and it shoots 4K um, and the gimbal does look a bit more solid than the original Mavic um, Pro did. I mean a lot of people complained about them breaking and uh, added, added some of that, some of like bounce around and stuff you know. A lot of people had issues with the gimbal on that side but that looks much more improved on that side so is it, is it a game changer? Much more cheaper. Be interesting to see what the Mavic Pro drops down in price now as well, and then there's the, the uh, Mavic Platinum as well. They I think they've got, currently got out. Be interested to see how the pricing changes on those. But um, yeah, and it's it's as small as the um, as a Spark as well. So it's it's competitive. I don't know why they call it the why they call it Mavic Mavic Air because in theory it is a Spark. It's a sp <laughs> be nice to see this compared against a Spark, having it the same in size. But um, yeah, something me for me for me. I'm not just gonna go. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. It. I might get it later on when all the hype's down. But um, we've seen it. We've seen all these tech changes and stuff like that. I mean, I'm very happy still with the Phantom Four, flying Phantom Four. I know this is much more smaller and port more portable. But yeah, let me know what you think. Is it more portable? Is this something you'll go for now? Something you'll sell your other drones and and this this will be your drone uh, go to drone? Is it? I like this, the smallness of the compact flying it and stuff because um, obviously when you got the Phantom 4 up in the air a lot of people nose around and sort of say oh you got a drone in the air this will be much more quieter I suppose but uh, yeah just see how things go now see how quickly orders do go because DJI have been very good on getting their orders out as fast as they say they would but we'll see so 28th this, this month pre-ordering today um, and you'll get your drone by the end of the month or by, by at least by February at least anyway but yeah so again I'd like to know your comments and your views on this new drone DJI's release is it a game changer is it something you'll go and buy is it something you'll now get rid of your current drones and then this is going to be your go-to drone comment below let's get conversation on this and, and uh, thanks for watching guys and thanks for the thumbs up thanks for all the thumbs down and thanks for all the new the subscribers that have been subscribing and been quite loyal to me and uh, also check me out on Jack's gear channel as well and I'll see you on the next video or another update we do with this. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.